What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update video in the world of jailbreaking, also in the world of Apple so you guys know what's going on. Uh, so first off, I do want to cover um, the Apple stuff going on. There was a event today, Apple did announce some new products. I'm not going to go too much into depth with what products they released. But I will leave a link for this down in the description, which is the newsroom if you guys want to investigate uh, more about these products. They did release a new iPad Pro, which looks really, really cool. Also, the MacBook Air got an update, which is really nice. And they also announced an update to the Mac Mini, which I'm actually really excited for. Uh, so that is some of the new products in which Apple has released. And one other thing they did release was iOS 12.1. And that's what I mainly wanted to focus on in this video uh, is the update of 12.1, uh, which my older iPhone, I have updated it, uh, to it on my 7 Plus. I'm still jailbroken on 11.3.1, but I wanted to show you guys how you can save your SHSH blobs so that you can downgrade or upgrade firmwares in the future in case a jailbreak is released. So basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is uh, saving my blobs for my iPhone 7 Plus, which is on an outdated older firmware and jailbroken. So I'm going to show you guys this just because word on the street is there is an exploit for iOS 12.0.1 and I want my blobs so that way in the future I can update to it and jailbreak on that instead, which would be a more up-to-date jailbreak. And like I said, this allows you to downgrade or upgrade. So let's say you're on 12.1 and this jailbreak comes out, you can downgrade to 12.0.1 as long as you have the blobs saved for your device. The way you're able to save them is whatever current firmwares Apple is still signing, the TSS saver will save it for um, those current firmwares. I'll show you guys more about this in a minute as we jump into it. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is make sure your device is connected to your computer. Mine is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes. So as you guys can see, my iPhone is connected. The first thing you guys are going to want to locate is your ECID code. I'll have mine blocked out just for safety purposes, but uh, the code is right here. And as you guys can see, it, it basically says ECID. Again, you just click on that text and it will uh, switch between different things. So the next thing you guys want to do is jump back into Safari and I'll leave a link for this down in the description as well. It is the TSS saver and this is what is going to allow you to save your blobs. Uh, that way you can do some downgrading or upgrading in the future. So all you got to do is basically type out your ECID into the hex iTunes section right here. Mine is typed there. Again, I have it blocked out so that you guys can't see it, but just go ahead and keep iTunes open so you can, you can read it here and then you can basically just type it out there. The next thing you're going to want to select on is the identifier. You can choose between iPhone, iPod, or iPad, even the Apple TV. And then you're going to want to select on which model of that device you have. If you guys are unsure on exactly which model it is, again, back in iTunes, you can, you can click on the ECID or whatever text is there, and you can select on model identifier, as you guys can see right there. Uh, I happen to have the iPhone 9-2, so we'll switch back to TSS Saver and go down to iPhone 7 Plus 9-2. And now we are good to go ahead and save these blobs. Uh, go ahead and select on I am not a robot. That way if you're not a robot, you know, you can submit this form. So just make sure you're not a robot. And then go ahead and click on submit. And then as you guys can see, it pops up this page here. And then it says your SHSH blobs will be saved in this URL. So go ahead and select on that URL. And here are the blobs. So like I said, it saves them for whatever current firmwares Apple is signing. And currently Apple is signing 12.0.1 and 12.1. So I've basically saved the blobs for those two firmwares. That way, like I said, in the future, I can update my jailbroken iPhone 7 Plus that's currently on 11.3.1 and up, update it to 12.0.1 if a jailbreak is released for that firmware, which is incredibly useful. Uh, like I said, guys, this is very important. If you want, you know, a possible jailbreak, I would highly recommend getting blobs for 12.0.1 or keeping your device on that firmware currently. Uh, if you guys want to update to 12.1, just save those blobs. That way you can go back to it if you really want a jailbreak. You can download the zip, you can save it to Google Drive, and you can also save it to Dropbox, or you can just save this URL, make sure you don't lose it, 
and then you will be able to get these blobs for in the future. And that's pretty much all you guys got to do. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Again, like I said, I'll leave all the links for everything you'll need down in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.